So 343 just did something I thought they would never do. Now, I know we're all on the big talks of Halo, Unreal Engine, Halo Studios and all that kind of stuff, but there's a little game out there called Halo Infinite that's still going on. We had a new event come out with the new operation of Halloween. And the thing I never thought I'd see them do is this. You can see, of course, a new shop bundle comes in, right? But look at this. Okay, we see we have the helmet, you know, like face cover, shoulder pads, your typical armor set that you see every operation. But the thing is, you can buy each individual piece now. I never thought that 343 would actually do this because we've been begging for this for years now at this point. Be like, hey, I would love to be able just to get the just the uh, rocket launcher model right here that's part of the bundle, but I don't want to drop 2200 credits. Well, now you can, well, spend 1000 credits instead. It's not exactly uh, that much of a saving right there, especially when they've sold previous weapon models for 500 credits for uh, previous operation passes. But uh, that's neither here or there, I guess, whatever. But still, at least it's an option now. I mean, with Halo Studios now being the turning of a new leaf, they're like, you know what? We're going to do you one better. We're going to make the shop somewhat reasonable now, but <laughs> I don't know, like I just thought that was like a really interesting thing. I just never thought I would see this happen. I guess with the other shop items as well, like we had this armor set right here that just can only be found within this package. So all some old habits do die hard, uh, but also have a previous armor set right here that you actually can buy all the individual pieces for it as well with right here. So that's pretty freaking awesome. And then some returning sets as well. Not every one of these sets you can buy individually, sadly, but still. It's out there if you guys want to jump in and check that stuff out. It also has some new items in exchange since we're on the topic of the shop right now. Uh, we have some new items for common with it comes to like different types of coatings and things like that. This coating in particular is pretty cool looking. Let me take away my camera so you can see it a little bit better here. Kind of has like a bit of a jagged, diamondy kind of look to this uh, coating. Pretty freaking sweet. I like that a lot. And so it's uh, some pretty cool additions against new additions when it comes to the exchange and the shop and all that kind of stuff. But what's the main thing here, guys, that you're going to be able to do in Halo Infinite? Well, with the Halloween update, we finally see the return of a workshop mode that we had in a workshop. I believe it was four, almost five months ago. And that was the living dead or was it the night of the undead? Well, either way. It's right here. They have a trailer for it, which this might be one of the best operation trailers we've ever seen for Halo Infinite. It's themed in the style of, of Halloween with infection and all that great stuff. So you have this new mode to jump in and play. And again, it's basically, if you guys don't know what this is, uh, Night of the Undead, I think it's called or something like that. You actually, or Survive the Undead, my apologies. Uh, it's basically classic Call of Duty zombies put into Halo Infinite, I'm actually kind of surprised that they went ahead and actually did this and didn't have to worry about copyright issues, but maybe since it's all made within Halo Infinite, it's fine, because we know how protective uh, Call of Duty can be of their IP. I mean, they've shut down multiple fan projects because they just mimic somewhat of what uh, Call of Duty has had to offer. That was the SME2 or well, the SM2, I think the recent mod for Call of Duty 4 that uh, was supposed to mimic Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer that we never got. Well, you know, that's where it is. But again, yeah, I, I digress though. Uh, this is a cool new mode. They also have a zombie update as well when it comes to this uh, infection playlist right here. So some really great things coming with this, some new things to actually jump in and play, some new experiences, some give you an actual reason to jump in and play Halo. It's uh, it's actually kind of fun. It's way more interesting than like, well, I think the well, last uh, couple weeks we had to go, we had like the brute one shot, brute shot one shot mode, which eh, it was there. It was kind of interesting, uh, but nothing too exciting. Uh, 343 did release a, a blog update about the whole thing. So I wanted to kind of go over that with you guys, not go like too into the weeds of the whole thing, but kind of just give you the overview of what to expect when it comes to this update right here. So the Halo ween operation, like by the way, Pixel Flare again, slays it with this art dude the guy is just incredible with the stuff out there but yeah surviving the undead or survive the undead again basically it's call of duty zombies put into halo infinite the funny thing about this mode it was actually a challenge by hidden xperia back in 2022 when uh, forge actually got leaked out to the build to people to play around with remember that back then when people were actually forging before forge was actually out 
uh, well, Hidden Xperia was like, I want to see zombies put into the Halo. And then Forge Falcons were like, all right, bet. <laughs> so Night of the Undead is a great uh, remake of Knock Der Untoten. It's uh, the original uh, World at War Call of Duty Zombies map. A classic out there. They did kind of build on top of it a little bit more. So you also have Countdown of the, de uh, of the Dead as well. And also installation of the dead. And so got a good variety of maps to jump in and play with. So it's not just one map the entire time. You also get this new Frankenstein's monster inspired armor set as part of the operation pass, which we'll go into a little bit later in this video if you are so curious as well. And uh, you know, we got some new exchange items that we pointed out previously. This skull, uh the skeleton armor set that's part of the shop. It's pretty sick looking. It's a shame that's part of the shop. I wish I could just unlock it by just playing the game. But you know, it is where it is right now where it comes to Halo Infinite. At least now we have the ability to buy individual armor pieces right now, which is actually kind of sweet right there. Uh, interestingly enough, they didn't really talk much about the uh, Alpha Zombie update, which is going to be coming later within this operation. Uh, let's see if I can find it real quick for you guys. But it's a... Uh, Gonna be bringing some new additions with that whole thing. Uh, we don't really know exactly what's gonna be coming for it at the moment, as they haven't really uh, delved too much into this whole thing when it comes to like what's actually gonna be changing for Alpha Zombies specifically. Uh, but we do know it's gonna be coming in later into the season. So let's just do a quick overview of the battle pass here, the Operation Pass, I should say. For the 500 credits to make this a durable pass, you have the Pestilent Winds, right? Kind of reminiscent of that Halo Reach uh, customization, which you were able to unlock for free through gameplay. Uh, now it costs 500 credits, but hey, you know, it is what it is right now, like I said earlier. You get this emblem right here. Again, your Spartan points, which is great. And then piece by piece, you do earn your armor set for the Frankenstein's monster style armor set here as well. Uh, level 10 here, you get the chest piece. And again, these actually look really cool though. Like they're actually like really interesting pieces. Like I think they did a really fantastic job of making it look like Frankenstein's monster, right? But also making it look like interesting Halo armor. I guess where we had this kind of type of coating before, but if you want to look like a green zombie man like Frankenstein's monster, level 15, well there you go. You get the shoulder pads here at 18. These are pretty sweet looking. Like this actually looks awesome. And then lastly, you do get the helmet at level 20. I mean, like it definitely looks like Frankenstein's monster, but if it was in a Halo Infinite helmet, this is a really clever way they went about doing this. I like this a lot. This is some really cool customization here. I'm also curious, this is uh, 10.35 at night Pacific Standard Time. Like, what is the matchmaking time for Survive the Undead? It says 10 seconds. People are here playing Halo Infinite right now on a weeknight. I'm sure skill-based matchmaking is probably tuned down quite a bit so they can actually find matches for this, but it's there you'll be able to find matches and play which is gonna be really exciting uh, i definitely will upload some gameplay talking about the mode as well and give you my review of the whole experience this video is more just kind of just be like hey this is what you can do now in halo infinite at the moment for uh what this recent update brings for people to play it's something fun and interesting to do uh but yeah guys you know that's pretty much everything that's going on with halo infinite at the moment if you guys like these type of videos make sure to tap like helps out the channel a ton if you made this far in the video leave a green heart lets me know you, who the real ones are out there and then uh, catch you all in the next video, guys. We got some more Halo stuff coming out, so peace out.